Hi guys, this is Michelle Carpenter and um, it is a Sunday morning here in New Zealand and I was busy in the kitchen and I quickly asked the Council of Eight how they are, anything I need to know for today and I got shown, Michelle, go put on your lipstick because <laughs> I normally like to have makeup. <laughs> I'm getting braver by doing these vlogs um, by not having makeup and uh, we have a message so I'm going to close my eyes and uh, see what they have to say We welcome you here today. We are connecting with humanity. We are connecting with light workers. There may be many light workers who are feeling an intensity within their vibration, within their hearts. Michelle was one of these this morning. She woke up feeling okay and then felt nauseous and then allowed her heart center to feel as she does. And her way of doing this is by having a release with her tears. And it was really deep, it was really deep within her heart center. And she said to her husband, I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I feel like I'm feeling a lot and we are wanting to share this transmission today as America energetically has been feeling so much. If you would notice on social media, there are many, 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 many many posts about the Twin Towers and this energy as energy does energy moves vibrational frequency shifts it goes around at times it goes up and down at times frequencies are different and depending on where you are in your heart space. A lot of you will be feeling either the build-up of coming into this frequency or you will be feeling it today as those humans not only in the United States, but across the world, wherever there have been a, wherever there has been a, or have been a human being that has been affected, there would be a feeling, a resonance that comes up, that goes out. A lot of people in this moment are holding their breaths. The gasping of what is happening within the world and has happened on that specific day. We know that there is a lot of loss that has been experiencing. Notice how we say not experience, experiencing. And we are saying this as the loss is helping the vibration of the earth. The loss is helping humans to shift. And we would ask human beings to sing more. Experience, sing. We love to have a play on words. And singing can come in many different forms. It could come in 
a form of what one would term wailing. There is still resonance, there is still vibration that has been felt and coming up through the mouth. And yet it is felt very deeply in the heart center. So that too is a way of singing. Wailing has been termed a very negative vibration for a very long time. And this is not true. It is very much about allowing the heart to sense, it is allowing the voice to let go. And when the letting go happens, the body shifts, the energetic field shifts, the vibration shifts collectively. Yet when one is <gasps> going back on the memory of what happened on that specific day, on the 11th of September, there is a gasp, there is a holding, there is a contraction that happens within the body. Let it go. Find your voices. We would like each and every individual who is watching this Step into your knowing, step into your bliss, step into your joy. Skip if you need to. Step and walk forward as when you are walking forward. Know that the energy that you are leaving behind you is shifting, is changing. And what we mean by this is each and every individual who is walking forward finding their bliss, finding their joy, is shifting the collective consciousness and the vibration on the earth center. The light is shining bright. Every individual that is shining their light bright become brighter. Yet a lot of you are playing small, a lot of you are dimming your lights, a lot of you are buying into other collective consciousness where you are being told how and what is playing out in a different frequency, a lower vibrancy. Notice how we said that, a lower vibrancy. It's a different vibe and frequency. So which one are you guys going to be choosing individually? The more you shine your light, the more you become lighter, the more you lift, the more you lift, the more you lift, the more you lift, the more you become more blissful. The more you lift your vibration, the more the light comes in to the earth. We are listening. We are hearing people's cries. Hence again, the wailing, the wailing shifts. And for those of you who know or don't know, do whales not play their part in the ecosystem? Do whales, as big as what they are, hold a gentle resonance under the earth, in the sea? They are majestic when they swim. They are gentle within their natures. They too, as they are swimming, the vibration shifts underneath and above. Again, this is a reminder, as above, so below. Yet we notice that a lot of you tend to forget that. So please know that the wailing allows you all to refine your calibration, refine your peace, your center, your bliss. It is not right, it is not wrong. 
It is a moment in time that is so needed. And then the body will feel lighter. The mind will feel lighter. And then you can rethink your thoughts. We would like to invite every human being to ask each and every individual, what is it you do want instead of what is it you don't want? We hear often, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't, we don't want to be controlled, 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 we don't want to be controlled. And it is very much about what do you want? How do you see yourselves individually changing, individually lifting your vibration, individually coming together collectively to laugh more? The fear is what is creating the downward spiral in this time of change it is a sweeping it is a clearing and as the sweeping and the clearing happens more peace is found just like the whale that moves in its own way in its own serenity magical so please hold this in your mind's eye think about the whales underneath the ocean as they too are trumpeting they too have a knowing they too are shifting the vibration from underneath the ocean time of change is now people time of change Good change. The light has been shone on those that have brought down what one would term unfairness, unjustified. The light always, always, always shines brighter than the dark, does it not? Notice how often any of you individually talk about the, what Michelle would term, the C word, the pandemic. She has decided to put a glass jar in her home and each and every individual time that her family members decide to mention anything about the C word, Vaccinations, vaccines, non-vaccines, non-vaccinations, non-vaxxers. Anything to do with the shift in the vibration. Individually, they have to put $10 into the jar. It is a jolting as one notices. Uh, I don't want to put $10 in the jar. So it brings one back into their present moment. What am I saying? What am I thinking? How am I feeling? Rethink your thoughts. In the rethinking of your thoughts, there's a recalibration that happens. In the way you speak, there's a re vibrancy that happens laughter makes the body feel so much more joyful it is watching a child skip have you seen how a little person skips joyfully it's not jolting it is joyful and it flows so our message for today is notice Notice, notice. Stop those negative thoughts from filtering out. 
shine your lights bright. As Michelle put lipstick on her lips, she went for the brightest of bright pinks. As when she smiled at herself, herself first and foremost, as she put the lipstick on in the mirror, she was looking back at herself. She smiled. So, do something that will make your heart smile individually. If you were all looking into the mirror right now in this moment, what would you say to yourselves that would make yourselves feel good? As each thought, each said word, each feeling that shifts within the body changes the vibration collectively. Changes the frequency collectively and we would really 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 like you all to know change is happening and it's great change there is an evolving that is happening where each individual whose light is switched on will smile in peace. So we honor you for watching this. We honor you all individually for being the humans that you are. We honor you for those that are wailing, for those that are grieving, for those that are shedding. We honor you for those that are laughing, for those that are skipping. We honor you for those that take the time to even <gasps> hold your breath in a moment of gasping. And as the trees do, energy in, energy out. So think of yourselves individually as a tree, gasping, holding your breath, letting go of your breath. We thank you, we honor you, and we all bless you right now as you sit in this moment, listening to the words of what we are sharing through Michelle. Take a big breath in and feel, feel this beautiful, divine, heart-centered, bright light, bright white light, bright crystalline, violet flame, beautiful, bright white light coming deep into your heart center and take a big breath in. And fill yourselves up and let it go. We bless you all. Wow, it amazes me how quick the time goes. I've been speaking for 19, well, I've been channeling for 19 minutes already. It's just crazy. It's no time in the quantum field, is there? I hope the message resonated with some of you today. Please comment. Please ask any questions. If there's anything that you'd like to ask the Council of Eight, please put them in the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> it's so funny. Every time I watch YouTube videos, I'm like, oh, that's what i got to do? Oh, okay. <laughs> And they're not wrong. I did. I had a very heart-centered, sad, wailing moment this morning. And I couldn't comprehend what was going on. But I'm learning to just let it go. Let it pass through me. And then I feel lighter. I'm wishing you all the best, most abundant days of unlimitless joy. 
Love you guys.